All right, so you said this is like a milky quartz? Milky quartz. Where is this found? This uh, you can find actually also on the same site that we were just talking about in Elephantine Island. There are some remaining pieces. And the biggest piece remaining that I've seen in one of the sites was in Tal Nebasta. Mm. Uh, Tal Nebasta, Tanis. Tanis, this is in the delta. Mm. In the, in, uh, the biggest piece I saw was like this big mm. remaining. But I'm sure it was one of the ancient elements. Yes. And uh, that it, there used to be devices like basins or shrines or boxes made out of it, but it was one of the types of stones like was like gold, you know, they, they went all the way to granite and limestone to quarry, so I'm sure elements like uh, milky quartz or jasper or things like that would be some of the first stones to be taken away. Hmm. Well, we've, when we work with like certain crystals and certain elements, the, the uh, Lemurian crystals from Peru, yeah. uh, were, they just blew me away, and it was actually part of my first level research. I had these loaned to me, these very large Lemurian crystals. Yeah. And I put them in the energy, and then it was like I, I touch them and I get nothing from it. Put that on there, nothing. But something told me just to leave them there, mm -hmm. let them saturate in the energy like we do. And after about 15 minutes, I felt this huge shift in the energy. I'm like, what the heck? You know, I said, wow, did you feel? You know, and some a, a friend of mine was there, and I said, did you feel that? And he goes, no, what, what, what was that? And I'm like, the, I think the crystal's active now. And then I went over and said. I took the rod and streamers were coming out of the crystal, mm. but it took it took a while. It took a, it was it had to charge, mm. and then what was very interesting uh, when we put the crystal on it for the first time, it it took fifteen to twenty minutes to do this, and then you know the energy started coming out. Every time we put it back on and turned it on, energy came out instantly. Kept the charge. It kept, it, well, it kept it. it shifted. Oh, I understand. And it like a line to be an yeah. emitter, and yeah, it never, yeah. never had it wait after that. Yeah. And we did this with three different crystals. Same effect: charged, shifted, it yes. started to transmit, and then always transmitted. Mm -hmm. So very interesting. This is a lot about crystals too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, it's almost like the same thing as water. They want yeah. they can be programmed. They found the streams. Yeah, they can. Like the streams of energy found their path yeah. through the device. I promise you, if you drink this water now, it tastes better when, than when we started. If you do it side yeah, by side, some. is that your water? Yeah. I was going to ask about that. It's always a lot smoother. You know, it has and it's it, it's a uh, it's a. Uh, it's, it's threshold, it's the, the hydrogen and the oxygen kind of separates and it goes right oh, over the body. The... Did we burn a hole? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah, we, we, we melted, yeah. melted a hole through the plastic. And it only happened at the water line. Yeah. 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 So the water, the water, water did it. Now, speaking of water, we have it every day. All right, let's see what this does. Okay. My hand's wet. Okay. How's your hand? Yeah, go ahead. It's probably not that. You're not probably going to get that much from it. Yes. Yeah, it might be one of those. Oh, yeah, you see the dust. The dust. Uh, yeah. It is emitting. Yeah, it's a, just a different energy. Yeah, you'll find some fissures. Oh, look at the dust. Yeah. <laughs> you'll find some energy points. And then this is probably one that has to build up. But yeah, you see how it's smoking? It's like kicking up the dust. Yeah. Yeah, that's always an interesting effect too. Yeah, it's getting louder. You can hear it starting to build up. So that it usually would take a bigger size crystal to really get it going. Stuff. I have a bigger right. piece. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, let's try this bigger piece. Let's try the the. I have just on one. We've been playing with little pieces. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab uh, <laughs> our statue over here. Yeah, let's work with this one. This is lined, yes? Yeah. Yeah, this is a good piece. I'll probably get a lot of current from this. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be a really strong charge. So let's see how this one is doing. Yeah, nice and bright. Strong. Yeah, you got the uh, rod? Yeah. Go ahead and try. Unless you're done. Yeah. The trick is to hold on to it pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty firmly. It looks good. good already.
Yeah, fun. Yeah. So that's a good one. Like I said, we put the cobra on it, would be probably really powerful. That's the end of the cobra. <laughs> We'd have to put it on the ground to do that. We wouldn't want it to like come off the table, do we? Think mm -hmm. it might go through the glass? No, oh, the glass would be pretty strong. Okay. And it'd probably light up the bulb really good too. Sure that. Try to put the beer in there. So, you know, we'd have constant illumination down the whole surface yeah. of this. Again, and that's the furthest we've been away from the, the generator itself. And we've got a lot of light coming off of that. Yeah, the only bad thing about these is that they do build up a charge and then they kick back in your hand and you get a reflex action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, try to avoid that. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. See, Cobras are powerful. Now listen to the sound. Listen to the difference of the